Wow, Jody Bird, Britain's Got Talent 2014, gets a second chance. If you enjoyed that performance and you enjoyed her having the opportunity to get a second chance, hit the like button, give me your comments. And if you think she could win, well, who knows? I mean, there's not too many young girls the age of 16 that sings a musical in these Broadway-type shows, so long as you know. But, you know, what I like about that show is that she got a second chance. And I'm a minister of the gospel, by the way. I desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. I just seen that video, and it captured my heart. And I'm going to give you an analogy. Simon's the devil. He's Satan. Not really. I'm not saying Simon Cowles. He acts a little whacked out sometimes, but he wants to cut us out. He wants to hit the buzzer. He never wants to give you a second chance. And there's many people under the sound of my voice that God is going to give you a second chance in life because God is the God of not only a second chance, but a second million chance. I mean, God is merciful. He's kind. He's gracious. And most of all, he's full of love. I mean, you know, what don't we understand about John chapter 3, verse 16 in the New Testament basically says, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that's even Simon Cowell, that whoever would believe in Jesus Christ would never perish, would have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish. That's why he sent Christ, so we could have a second chance, my friend. God is a God of the second chance. There are many people... You feel like you're down and out. Now, when you're down in life, there's only two places you could stay. You could stay down or you can get up. The Lord says, get up, move on. I'm giving you my power to go on into greater things in life. And really, God's plan for everybody, by the way, is he desires to be in the center of our heart. If you've never accepted Christ into your heart, you're only a prayer away. You know, we can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we're the ones that control the doorknob to our heart. And once you open the door of your heart, once again, the Lord will come in with his love. And you want to recite a simple prayer. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. So, hey, man, don't fault me for this. This is how I see things. I'm the minister of the gospel. You know, I've seen Simon has, you know, the enemy, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, whatever you want to tout him or call him. By the way, the devil's real. Don't overestimate him, but don't underestimate him. Demons are real, but God is bigger. Angels are real, and they're also greater and bigger. But And then all of a sudden, the crowd gets involved. The other judges give this young girl, Jody, a second chance. Friends, Christ loves you. Trust in Christ for your salvation today. God's got a mighty and a wonderful plan for you. Never, ever forget that. Jesus loves you. He wants to be your best friend. Trust in Christ for your salvation. Be blessed.